Welcome back, everybody, for another Yano Shanyadi scenario. Last time we were able to barely squeak by at Hermannstadt, but now we're going to be going on to the long campaign. After the fierce battle of Hamastat, since some soldiers, including me, had fought so hard to retake Transylvania manners early in the campaign, and out of trust in our experience, General Honyodi sent us to garrison these manners to prevent the Ottomans from violating our borders again. The Ottomans were quiet for several months after the defeat, and the job of guarding the frontier was much easier than fighting on the battlefield. I thought that even if the fighting spirit was high, we would have to rest for at least a few months. But throughout the summer of 1443, people came and went from the manor, preparing for a new war. While talking to the soldiers, I also heard a lot of rumors. Within a few days of the end of the battle, the Ottoman envoys did not yet know about the defeat of their army. So they still proposed arrogantly that the Ottomans would promise not to invade again if we would give up Belgrade, a major city located on our eastern border. But General Honyodi would not agree to such an unreasonable demand, especially when we had just defeated the Ottoman army in a big way. He blasted the messenger out and then said to the new king, we had better augment the country, following the example of our forebearers. As a result of this, continuing the war would encourage us to achieve better peace, unlike a different peace that could only be purchased by tearing off parts from the country. We do not need such peace. By our force, weapons, and with our attainments, we will fight a more righteous and reasonable peace for us. The Pope is also supporting the coming expedition. He called our victory a miracle of God and called the people's attention to the Muslim threat in Western Europe. But unfortunately, as far as I can tell, we are still alone in the end. Only a few knights came to help, the Venetians sent only six ships to help block the Bosphorus, and Frederick III, under the excuse of dealing with Czech, would not even provide a single horse. Thus, only the Pope provided the new king with a fund and hired a group of mercenaries who were paid to do the job. General Honyodi had to use his own funds to fill the gap of the war. The general sent an emissary to the manor and ordered us to build Hussite wagons, while at the same time he recruited a large number of private forces of nobles in Poland and Hungary to expand the army. Eventually, we managed to raise a fairly large army, but our European neighbors hardly offered any help. Fortunately, the ruler of Serbia, Brankovic, was willing to assist in this expedition. Brankovic was a famous tyrant and it was said that many Serbian people preferred to belong to the Ottomans than to live under his rule. General Honyodi also disliked Brankovic, but now he was anxious to recover his Ottoman-occupied territories, and being familiar with the local environment he could act as a guide for our troops in the Balkan Mountains, in addition to maintaining a cavalry force of considerable fighting strength. But not all the local monarchs supported us. Vlad II, the Grand Duke of Wallachia, had to submit to Ottoman because his two sons were taken hostages. But he didn't confront Hungary directly, instead he visited the general's tent one night to persuade him to retreat. I don't know the content of their discussions, but it didn't take long for the Archduke to be driven out, and then our army moved on the next day. Thus, in the fall of that year, the crusade marched to the Balkans, vowing to destroy the Muslim forces there. But not everyone was as enthusiastic as the new king and general. By the time we reached the Balkans, it would be winter, and if the snow fell, it would be difficult even to march, let alone fight the Ottomans who were holding their fortress. I don't know why the general had to rush into the expedition in the winter, maybe big guys had their own considerations. But some soldiers said privately that they were so eager to defeat the Ottomans that their impulsiveness overwhelmed their rationality which may have led to defeat in turn. No one is sure if luck will favor us again this time. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. General Hunyadi, crusaders all over Europe would like to join you if you're willing to pay for their employment. Please choose the army you wish to join in your expedition. Oh. Um. 
Choose Lithuania to get nightline attacks that ignore armor. Choose Wallachia to gain cavalry attack reload time. Choose Renduin to get archery units and trade units. Um, do not choose any crusader. Oh boy. I guess we're doing that. Uh, pop limit of 200. Uh, but you can also keep the gold needed to conscript them for your own army. Okay. Uh, farming will be less efficient. Fishing for extra food. Okay. Hunyadi can boost morale and reduce the food cost needed for training units. The best way to conquer a city is to rebuild the wonder, and you will hardly be able to completely uproot... Okay. Uh, the Ottoman army will arrive after a certain time, led by Ahmed Bey, Murad the second son-in-law, but this is a good opportunity to crush them. Although the Serbian tyrant Brankovic agreed to cooperate, he only did so in order to regain his territory, so there's no strong will for a full-scale revolt against the Ottomans. Though he agreed to trade with... Okay, so we can just trade with them. Uh, Hanyadi is choosing Crusaders. The Balkan city's Khrushchevach uh, is relatively close, and they got Knights Blair as pikemen. Niche is with stuff, and Sofia is also with stuff. The Ottoman strongholds are scattered throughout, each with a different garrison. The Ottoman army has stuff. And there is Brankovic, who also has stuff. So, sorry. The Europeans were not very enthusiastic about this expedition, and Frederick III even found a lame excuse to refuse. I might as well have saved the funds for rewarding our Hungarian and Polish armies. Alrighty, we're getting our achievement. It's not easy to march through the Balkan mountains in winter. We need to quickly capture the nearby Ottoman strongholds, otherwise we won't be able to keep up with the supplies. So I guess we get to keep our 1,000 gold. General, the cold weather is bound to affect the efficiency of our farmers. We have to hurry up. Let's start with the nearest Ottoman strongholds. Uh, well, we can't really do anything with the resources yet. Merely return to their owners. Oh, did I accidentally kill that deer? I'm sorry. You know, clicking and stuff. It's all good. Horsies? A white horse. The Crusaders are attacking our camp. They've marched through the mountains tired and hungry for so long. Now is the perfect opportunity to crush them. Crush them! Alright, let's move on to the Krepost. Got some winged hussars, elite Magyar hussars, some obuk. They have some goo lambs. Let's fall back a little bit. No, no, no. We found resources oh. at a packed town center from an Ottoman stronghold. Can I oh, I can build more TCs of my own, though. At last, we have found a foothold in these cold mountains. After a short rest, we are going to retake the Ottoman controlled cities in the Balkans. We should start with destroying the Islamic buildings there. Uh, Kurt? I didn't think the Europeans in the Balkans so soon. What a bunch of fanatics. What a bunch of oh, fanatics. When my army is ready, you will all die. The scouts tell me that a large Ottoman army is coming this way. This is a good opportunity. The leader is the son-in-law of the current sultan, and by capturing him alive we can greatly demoralize their army. Oh, there's a relic. Rabbit wolf. Um, there we go. The stench of Christians is in the air, and it looks like their crusaders have arrived nearly. Let them see who is the ruler here now. It's true, the situation has changed. The Ottoman army is the most powerful. We can only have uh, a you can use them to trade among the mountains on this level. Get 10% food, wood... Oh! 
the Balkans are now the domain of the Ottoman So I guess we're doing a lot of trading the in this scenario. Are still living centuries ago, thinking they can dictate everything in this world at will. Some more horses. In this bad weather, I must take the lead to make the soldiers fight more bravely against the Ottomans. All right, so there's like a lot going on right here. Um, so the Ottomans are gonna be coming fairly soon. Okay, here's some wonders. Let's get a Munker. Get some Lumberjacks going. Oh, wait, there's a lot of gold over here. Is this a dead end? Oh, okay. Okay. Kunyadi, there are quite a few lost horses around here that have been spooked by the Ottomans and escaped. If you can bring some, I will provide you with extra cavalry. Oh. I guess we go over here. Um, we can go back down that way. Oh, I can use horses to get other horses. So I can horse while I horse. So I guess this is kind of like Montezuma 5. Let's see what this does. Oh, get Konix and Boyars. Ooh. Elite? You bet elite. Come on. One more. Okay, still got a couple bombards. We have these 11 cavalry units. It's gonna university for ballistics. I know our farming rates decreased here, but you know, it's better something than, than nothing. You know what I mean? Okay, once our units are healed up a little bit, we should be good to go. Let's grab ballistics. Oh, some more horsies. Alright, I think we should be good to go to take this Ottoman stronghold down there. Let's go get the horses. Shoot them with their shooting guns. We found resources and a packed town center from a Oh, we get a packed town center with every camp we destroy? Okay. Resources are definitely helpful.
Oh, this whole area is uh, walled off. So, I suppose we will start building some like archery ranges over here. Start going for some some scav archers or cav archers if you're a regular human being. Some nighterinos. Tons of resources. Whoa, 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 Thumb ring. Get husbandry. Keep on booming. Okay, we still have our bombard cannons alive. That's really helpful. Um, don't think we got a market yet. Okay, Hanyadi's still getting upgraded. Uh, castle seems like it would be very useful. Getting some gold miners. Oh, niches in the Imperial Age. Oh, wow, the uh, wood price has already bottomed out. Did I ever get Bosaw? Okay, uh, we can get a castle. Okay, the Ottoman army is going to be here before too long. No, I never got Bosa. Great. Great, 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 great. Oh my god, you're stuck. Seems like gold locations are somewhat minimal. I guess that's what the trade is for. But where can we get even get up a good trade route? I suppose like right here. I mean, that's not even good though. <laughs> I did specify a good trade route. Okay, so we have one bombard cannon. Get that guy. Oh, yeah, so we do have a little bit of a military unit discount. Get some Hussite wagons. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, crap. Oh my god, I've lost so many villagers. we need to start trading 23 gold oh boy issues we're still in castle age right we're not even remotely close to imp The farmers are already working so much slower. Oh man, come on! Oh man, you guys have fully upgraded Hussars. Oh wait, I have a Bombard Cannon left. Okay, I get 33 gold per trip. I mean, I guess it could be worse. But how do I get up to the Imperial Age? That is my question. In fact, that seems to be a rather major issue right now. Because I have no idea how I can kill this stuff without Imperial Age. Frickin' pack TCs are so hard to place farms around. Oh my god, Niche is here again! And now I'm out of wood. Awesome. 
At least the wood price is cheap. Holy bananas. Um, do I have to restart? Because, like, the Ottoman army is going to show up in just a moment. Maybe I'm just not going to be able to boom as much. Like, I just need to prioritize getting Imp and just getting to Cav Archers. I think that's going to be the name of the game. Cav Archers especially because... Uh, General we, our food income isn't very Europe good. Would like to join you if you're willing to pay for their employment. Please choose the army you wish to join in your expedition. Nope. The Europeans were not very enthusiastic about this expedition, and Frederick III even found a lame excuse to refuse. I might as well save the funds for rewarding our Hungarian and Polish armies. It's not easy to march through the Balkan mountains in winter. We need to quickly capture the nearby Ottoman strongholds. Otherwise, why is there like that knocking sound? General, the cold weather is bound to affect the efficiency of our farmers. We have to hurry up. Let's start with the nearest Ottoman stronghold. You know what? I probably can get to the breach the second Ottoman camp. You know, this one over here, pretty quickly. And that might just give me enough resources to click up. And maybe, like, get some walls up as well. I mean, this, this is a three-sword scenario, right? So we're going to have to be a bit a bit more clever than usual. Not that that really takes much, but you know what I mean? The Crusaders are attacking our camp. They've marched through the mountains tired and hungry for so long. Now is the perfect opportunity to crush them. All right, let's go after you. Resources and a packed town center from an Ottoman stronghold. At last, we have found a foothold in these cold mountains. After a short, um, we are going to reach let's get some more cav archers. I think if once we, we just heal up a little bit. There. I didn't think the Europeans in the Balkans so soon. What a bunch of fanatics! I have to hold the border for the Sultan. When my army is ready. You will all die. I just love how matter of fact that sounds. When my army is ready, you will die. The leader is the son in law of the current Sultan, and by capturing him alive, we can greatly demoralize their army. Get, uh, oh wait, we already have a siege workshop. Just to click up to him. Stench of Christians is in the air, and it looks like their crusaders have arrived nearly. Let them see who is the ruler here now. It's true, the situation has changed. The Ottoman army is the most powerful. We can only have a chance of survival by defecting to them, and for that we can only fight with the crusaders. The Balkans are now the domain of the Ottoman Empire, and the illiterate crusaders are still living centuries ago. <laughs> the illiterate crusaders feels bad, man. In this bad weather, I must take the lead to make the soldiers fight more bravely against the Ottomans. Alright, we're healing everybody on up. Oh, uh, get the the horses over, I suppose. Might be helpful. No, don't lame my pigs, jerks. 
Not my oink oink pigs. Um. Kunyadi, there are quite a few lost horses around here that have been spooked by the Ottomans and escaped. If you can bring some, I will provide you with extra cavalries. Okay, that's good enough. Good enough. Yep, there's the last one. The outer camp has been destroyed. I didn't expect these crusaders to move so quickly, but we'll shoot them to death. Shoot them! Anyway, this should be providing us with enough resources for him. Oh, God. We found resources at a packed town center from an Ottoman stronghold. Let's click up. Get husbandry, get bodkin. Let's get some more cav archers going. The more horsey horses I find sooner, the better. can just turn them into army. Okay, I really don't care about that. TC like right around here. Get the bombard cannons going. Get that. Oh, did I ever get the relic? I never got the relic. Let's get you. Get ballistics. Dance, 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 dance. Okay, we're going to try and, like, make a beeline to the Ottomans this time. Okay, maybe not. Okay. 
And we never got a lumber camp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crap. Didn't realize they'd have so many petards. Maybe we have to go after blue. Go that for the time being. Well, that for now. Okay. Well, we can at least crush that. Okay, that's what, Sophia? Get him. Okay, there's Niche in the Imperial Age. Oh, they have a relic? Okay, they have a castle over there. I hope we don't have to, like, pay for the wonder. <laughs> that would make my life easier. Try getting you again. Let's get some more Konix. Oh, Royal Janissaries. Oh boy, here they come. Not full upgrades yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 
get you so we can start making some Magyar Hussars. And Yadi's back. Never got Bosaw, of course. At least there's a lot of gold down there we can mine. Oh dang, this is probably going to need to be a two-parter. But yeah, our food income is not super ideal. And I guess we have 3.3 wood, food, and stone per trip. So we get the 10% bo boast, or boost if you're not really bad Canadian accent. Okay, well, at least we're building to a much better army. Like, we're in the Imperial Age, we're at 141 pop. We got full upgrades on our Cav Archers. Can start getting some Swork Shops going. Okay, Hanyadi's back. Yeah, farmer work rate's only at 75%. Let's get some bombards, maybe. Oh, the Ottoman army will be here in eight minutes, though, which is not as awesome. Do they have Bilbo Baggins? Not yet. They only have Frodo Baggins. Let's get you. But yeah, I am slowly generating stone. Crap. Man, we really gotta work this Magyar efficiency. It is our only hope. Oh crap. No, wait. I wanted to research hoardings at that castle. Uh 
Oh boy, they got onagers too. Right, Yadi's back. At least our food cost for our units is getting cheaper and cheaper. Okay, we're at 31 uh, Magyar Hussars. Honestly, we're going to try and just widen the trade route. I'm going to get some Hussite wagons as well. Just, uh, I don't know, maybe block some damage or something. Something, something, something! And I suppose I will need to rebuild the wonder, like, paying for it. But I feel like we're getting a grip. Such as it is. Oh yeah, we can make their uh, attacks ignore armor. That's pretty sick. It might be pretty good then. Just focus on the trade for now. Maybe we can extend the trade route a little bit to like over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get uh, Hussite mercenaries. Wait, how am I going to get all the stone and stuff? Oh my goodness, I didn't think about that. Well, I guess there's some more stone we can mine over here, but... Okay, there's a little more stone in here. I need to be careful though, for sure. All right, looks like the Ottoman army is going to show up now. Although I have heard that Bayonet is with us, this snow weather is really not good for us. Let's try to defeat his army before Christmas comes. Um, will they automatically start going to the further one? I don't think so. So we're just going to delete that and hope for the best. Uh, 59. Okay. Much better. Oh, God. Are paladins. That's a very scary army. No, not the Vils, not the peasantry.
Oh yeah, we also generate a little bit of stone. All right, let's get this wonder up. Wait, how'd you get all the way over there? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, here they come, here they come. Why do we keep losing houses? Um, I hope we don't need to keep the wonder alive. <laughs> no! You know what? This seems like a great spot to end. All right, this is gonna be part one of whatever the scenario is called—the Long Crusade, I think. See you guys next time for part two.